In a disaster, communications are your lifeline. If our internet goes down, coordination stalls. We've seen it before during Hurricane Helene in North Carolina when the cell phone towers and electric collapsed and the grid failed. Ham radio operators were the first to step up, relaying critical information when nothing else worked. Then after a week or so, several people started to deploy Starlink. Its arrival gave first responders and civilians high-speed internet in places completely cut off. But here's the catch. Starlink is only as good as the power source you give it. That's when Alex and Andrew joined forces to form Starbat. Andrew, a mechanical engineer with a track record of designing cutting edge technology across different industries, and then Alex, a Marine Corps veteran and former police officer turned businessman, both needed a better way to stay connected in the wild. When Andrew built the first Starbat, the response from fellow adventurers was overwhelming, proving the demand for a portable, reliable off-grid power solution. Seeing the potential, Alex and Andrew took Start back from a one-off fix to a game-changing product that empowered outdoor enthusiasts, missionaries, and professionals to stay connected no matter where their journey takes it. Let's look at the Starbat Mini, not just as a piece of gear, but through the lens of a first responder who needs reliable internet when everything else has failed. Let's get information, give information. The Starbat Mini is a ruggedized, battery-integrated case designed specifically for the Starlink Mini. It protects the dish, powers it up 24 hours, and even provides USB-C power for your other devices. This is built for disaster deployments, mobile command, rural field work, or anyone who can't afford downtime when the grid is gone. When I evaluate gear for a responder role, I look at five things. Deployment speed, ruggedness, runtime, multi-device power, and mobility. If it can't perform on those five points, it's not really a mission-ready device. So does the Starbat Mini measure up? Let's look at the specs. Inside the case is 576 watt-hours of power. That's how it delivers a full operational period of internet, 24 hours. The case itself is about 17 by 13 by 7 inches, weighing 27 pounds. That makes it a truck friendly, but not something I'm gonna go hiking with all the time. It recharges by either AC at the station, DC in the truck, or solar in the field. And yes, it can run the Starlink Mini while the lid is even closed, keeping it safe from rain and dust. In my testing, the Starbat Mini lived up to the 24 hour claim, last an entire operational period before it needed recharge. Setup time was under a couple minutes, excellent for a first responder scenario. Even under rain and dust, the case kept the dish protected and running. And that extra USB-C ports on the front, a lifesaver. I was able to charge different devices, phones, and radios while the Starlink Mini stayed online. Let's talk about some of the pros. It's mission ready and simple. Just drop the Mini in and close the lid. Power on, that's simple. Rugged and weather protected, and it's rechargeable three different ways. Some of the cons, at 27 pound, it's, it's heavy for foot teams. It, it's not airline legal. The 576 watt hour battery is over the FAA's 160 watt hour limit. And the price may limit some end users, uh, but certainly within the realms of most cities and administrations and different agency and departments. The Star Map Mini is not for everyone but for the truck-based disaster response, rural operations, or mobile command trailers, or even at your house, it's a rock-solid solution. It turns the Starlink Mini into a true deployable internet system, capable of surviving the environments responders actually face. For me, this is field gear I would trust on any deployment. In a world where seconds count and information saves life, this makes the difference. It's a great way for me to get information and give information. In all my testings, the Starbat surpassed everything that I would want. I encourage you to go check out the link in the description below. Go check them out. I appreciate them sponsoring this video at Starbat.